right now, this is where the stage we're at. Uh, he can see me only at a distance. And if I go taking him out or having him take me out, um, sooner or later what's going to happen is this. Ah, just like that. And now I have no control whatsoever. Ah, I'm flying off screen. So let me show you how to nail down a player and an enemy into one axis uh, very easily. Uh, if I go into component and I go to physics, I can put a configurable joint out there. Okay. In the configurable joint, what I'm going to do is the angular motion of Y and Z. I'm going to take and lock those out. And enemy, I'm going to do the same thing. Let me go in here and do physics configurable joint. There we go. And let's try to knock the player senseless here. And you won't be able to. Why? Because right now it can't figure out angles. It is only locked into the one angle, and that's it. So now you've successfully figured out how to make a 2D side schooler. Because if you lock all, all angles, uh, your firing becomes a little easier. Uh, your running becomes a little easier. Dodging becomes a little easier. Okay. But I won't even get into the fact that, you know, if I was shooting a gun in one direction and if I wanted to shoot the gun in the other direction, how does that happen? Because that's later on stuff. But for right now, this locks it into position and becomes a shoving match between the two players. Uh, the last thing I wanted to clean up uh, was the fact that the chase player script is relying on this, a number that I have no control over whatsoever. So I want to put a veritable out there, like veritable um, site, site distance, and we're going to call that an integer, so it can only have numbers with no uh, point values. So here we go. There we go. So right now the site distance will probably be zero. So do you want to default it to something? And if you do want to default it to something, you can do it very easily here. Uh, I could default it to 100 if I wanted to. I'm going to rely on people's skill of figuring that out. So here, which is sometimes a bad thing to do, but site distance. Okay, site distance equals maybe 75 would be better. Also, he's moving really slow. So, you know, this is where the speed value comes in as maybe uh, 0.5 instead and you just have to figure that out as far as what do you want well now see that's scary right there and you feel like you, you're tense enough to want to run away from that all right and don't forget that if you want to affect the player speed it's back here on uh, speed negative speed positive I also got this character in here this Character bullet, I might want to get rid of that so that it happens on the side scroller player. This is just this effective video is called cleaning up, I guess. Good. All right, so this is where we're at, and I like to stay right here for right now. And then we're going on to another section of videos like, well, how do I eliminate? The actual object you know what I mean he's chasing me how do I kill him all right so for right now what I want you to do is build onto your portfolio and have this in here so this is your assignment uh, make a red cube and a green cube and make the red cube chase you 
and then add it to your overall scene play. So I should be able to hit play and it should be under one of these. Okay, and you can start labeling these too if you want. So now I have a texture example and um, an animation example and etc. and so forth out here to kind of look at. Now I can label them pretty well. So get them labeled, build this example, and then go on to the next video.